So this is my first CNC. Now, this is my $300,000 CNC. Welcome back to Cutting It Close, a channel where we talk woodworking technology, a little bit of business, and make some cool projects. And in today's video, I wanted to go over how I went from this $6,000 CNC to a $300,000 industrial CNC and all the trials and tribulations that I had to work through. And so I wanted to show you kind of that process, what it looks like and why I made the decisions I did to end up with this CNC right here, which is an absolute beast. And by the way, that right there is Anthony. Anthony, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, making stuff out of wood. He's the very first employee that started running that $6,000 CNC, and now he runs this $300,000 CNC. So it's really exciting. I cannot wait to show you this CNC, but before we do that, we need to go back to where it all started in my parents' horse barn with my $6,000 CNC. Let's go. So this is where it all started at and where I'm currently standing is actually old horse stalls that I had in my parents' horse barn. There's two kind of people that own horses, the rich people and poor people. I'm the other side. How I bought this machine is actually a loan from my girlfriend's parents at the time. So they gave me a $6,000 loan to buy this first CNC whenever I was 19 years old. It took me a year and a half to pay off the loan. And so I was cutting anything and everything with this CNC. I originally bought it because I was doing a lot of cutting boards and I thought I was gonna do inlays with them. After learning and failing hundreds of times, not with the making of the process, but actually trying to sell those and make a profit. I tried out everything. Like this is an old boot jack that I used to do. I was cutting out parts and engraving, all kind of weird things. And then all of a sudden it hit me and I designed this product called a docking station and this is one of the pieces of it. And so this CNC right here engraved a lot of names for me. It also cut out this product as well. So we were able to cut out six in an hour on this thing. And I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. This really helped me kind of learn the basics of CNCs. It's a low price point. You can probably get cheaper ones for maybe maybe $2,000, et cetera. But this $6,000 machine just helped me understand the CNC process and understand what products sell. And I wasn't just totally worried about, you know, the money or anything like that. My girlfriend's parents might've been, but I was not too concerned because I knew I could make enough stuff to pay that back. I just don't know how to put into words how important it is just to get started. And this CNC helped me figure out and ignite that passion that I had for woodworking and a little bit of technology and really combine that. This thing was able to make enough product so I can move and upgrade to the next CNC you're about to see. Next CNC you're about to see, little tongue twister there. And why I ended up purchasing that and moved on from this type of CNC right here. So one step over from this Laguna IQ is a Laguna Swift 4x8. And it's actually cutting out some HDP, some Frio product right now. And this is a cooler company I own, so if any of y'all would like to support it, check out FrioCoolers.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. If y'all would like to see any other videos from me, please leave that in the comments in the comment sections below, and do not forget to like and subscribe. So this is my Laguna Swift, and this is my intermediate type machine. I think this one at the time cost me about $18,000. I don't know what they run for now. This was about five years ago I bought this. The reason I bought this is I started cutting out so many sheet goods where I was able to lay a whole sheet of plywood on it. And so I needed a machine with a bigger footprint, but I couldn't really afford the super nice one. And so this one kind of fit my budget. I had no problems purchasing it or paying it off because I already knew the product that I was going to cut out and it was already selling because on my smaller one, I kind of established my business a little bit and then I could justify paying for this one. I was never worried about the price and I got it because I could cut out sheet goods a lot faster and then I can engrave them on my smaller IQ desktop CNC. So these two worked hand in hand and believe it or not, this CNC right here cut out over a million dollars of product in the two years that I was operating out of this little tiny shop right here. So it's really, 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 really cool. It did have some limitations. That spindle was not big enough on it. And so I couldn't cut out more products that I wanted to cut out in the mass production that I wanted to cut them out in. Through the money that I gained from this CNC coupled with that other desktop, I was actually able to have enough money to build my dream shop, which we're about to go to and actually purchase a shop saver. But literally 
all of that came from these two machines while I was in college, living with my parents in my parents' horse barn. It's a long story. If you if you would like to see that story, please leave that in the comments. It's, it's really wild. Yeah, so let's go check out the other CNC, the next CNC I bought, which I call it your commercial grade, which cost me about $70,000. So we're in my shop now and it's a work day. So there's gonna be some noise, bear with me. But now let's go to the shop saber. Kind of the whole premise of me building the shop was to have a professional grade CNC like this. These typically range anywhere from like 40,000 to 100,000, depending on how crazy you get. Sometimes you can get it for 30. I got this one, I spent about 70 on it. The reason I got it, you know, with that other one, I can only use smaller bits like this. You know, it wasn't to cut plywood, it was to start cutting thicker material like this. And when you cut thicker material like this, you got to use bigger bits like this. The cost wasn't really a factor. A CNC is like an employee, right? So this CNC cost me about $70,000. It's going to last for 10 years. So that's $7,000 a year, plus all the other insurance and taxes and all that stuff. So really, I look at this as a $10 an hour employee. That's all I look at it as, and it's very efficient. It doesn't charge me extra for overtime. Me jumping up to this next size CNC, if I have a good business plan and the product that I know I'm gonna make with it and I know they're gonna sell, there's not an issue of price. It's just the issue of how do I get to this level. So this CNC is really awesome, has an automatic tool changer, better vacuum, it takes up a little bit bigger space, it's three phase, all of that good stuff. But the whole reason I got it, very simple reason I got it, was to be able to cut out this thick material with a bigger bit. But this next machine is an absolute beast. So I'm gonna tell you why I bought a $300,000 CNC and uh, let's go. So this, is my baby. I literally cried when it came in, not gonna lie. It was coming out the 18 wheeler and I was literally in tears because I was so excited. And my reason for getting it is not sexy. It's not really that cool, right? Because this thing is four times as expensive as the one behind it. And these typically range in like a hundred to $300,000 range or plus, right? But this thing is four times as expensive, but it only has two heads. So it's four times the cost, two times productivity. So why get it? Why not have two of those shop savers? Well, I did. I did have two shop sabers and they were running full time in some of my earlier videos, you can go back and look and I had two of them. But what happened was during the Christmas rush, we were running those two machines 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we couldn't keep up. So for like two years in a row, we lost like 50 to $100,000 in potential revenue because we couldn't make enough product. I got this machine just for that factor. Just so when we get in crunch time, we can turn this machine on and ramp it up. And so instead of losing $100,000, we'll actually make enough product to make that $100,000. Now, how could I afford this giant machine? First thing, financing. Um, I didn't buy it outright, <laughs> it is financed. The loan payments on it are only like, it's, it's less than a $15 an hour employee. This is my $15 an hour employee that cuts out over a million dollars in product a year. If you could just front a little bit of that, that money in the front, you have yourself a $15 an hour employee that is amazing and is twice as efficient as the $10 an hour employee behind it. That's pretty much the reason I got it. Now I had to do a lot of different things, some dust collection, like insurance, you know, all that other stuff. But in reality, I just got it. So when it's crunch time, we can make more of that product. It cuts a little bit faster, probably about 10, 20% faster. The cut quality is about 40% better than the other one. In reality, I got it for that quickness and that when we're in crunch time, I can, make the product I need to make in order to be profitable. I've always dreamed of owning a, a machine this awesome and I'm so glad I did. Yeah, that's it. So that's how I went from a $6,000 CNC over there to this $300,000 CNC, literally just through a lot of, lot of hard work and selling product and just figuring things out on the fly. Nothing special, no secret sauce. So I hope this video leaves you with more knowledge than when you started. We got a lot of content coming and thank you so much for watching. It, I really do appreciate it. You know, this has been a big dream of mine since I was a little kid and, and now I'm getting to live out my dream and I hope I'm inspiring y'all to live out yours. So thanks guys so much. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video because we got big things coming. Um.